Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at the Wichita, and this is purely because Wargaming is doing something good. This is a very, very good thing. You can rent the Wichita entirely for free right now. And it's a try before you buy. You don't even have to buy the ship. You go over here into the news section, all news, and we scroll down, and ship trials right here. You scroll down a little bit more and participate from October 17th all the way to October 24th. You get the option to play it in randoms, co-op, or operations, and you get five games, or up to three days from when you click participate. This is amazing. This is so good. I've wanted this for years, where you don't have to just buy the ship and hope you like it, or watch some YouTuber who hopefully gives you a decent opinion, but then you realize you don't like the ship and they hyped it up too much, or anything like that. You get multiple perspectives, that's always what I'm trying to tell you guys. Watch a bunch of people, hear a bunch of opinions, and then decide. But that's really no substitute for you playing the ship yourself before you buy it. This is amazing, Wargaming. Well done, bravo, this is awesome. And they've been doing it for a while and I, had, I didn't notice. They started doing this back earlier this year, with, it looks like they've done Florida, Hornet, and the San Diego already. Really, really cool. One thing I'd love to see is maybe this becomes a coupon or something that you earn, like maybe this is something you earn partway through the Battle Pass or something like that on the free track, and then every month at the end or halfway through the Battle Pass, you get a coupon for any premium ship that's currently available as a rental for a few games. How cool would that be? Because then every month you could try something new, see if you like it before you buy it. So cool. They don't have to do that, but something along those lines to get more people involved with it. I think that would be a really, really cool thing. And we're going to take a look at Wichita today because I have not really played this ship ever. So we're going to see how it goes. I saw on the ship parameters, ship tool website, that apparently some of these secondaries have improved accuracy. <laughs> and I think it's these turrets, these like Fletcher turrets looking things, not the older style ones. I'm not sure which ones they are, but we got some secondaries here. So you know what? Let's build for them. <laughs> this is not how you should build this ship, by the way. I'm just trying to have some fun and I wanted to get an interesting video specifically just to let you guys know about a free rental of a tier eight here. This is not what you should do. You should really be building into more AP, focus more on main guns, of course. If you're interested, this ship does have some worse parameters than Buffalo. This is Buffalo guns, but you don't get the Des Moines AP shells. You get the worse AP shells, lower damage, and you have quite a bit less HP. This is including survivability experts, so pretty low HP. In return, you're getting a ship with a six second rudder shift and way better concealment. Uh, 10 kilometer secondaries, nine and a half kilometer de detect. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> you should not build for this. You should build main guns, but I'm just gonna do something dumb today just to try and have some fun. But really, really, really cool Wargaming. Bravo, this is awesome. If we had more of this, I think people would be so much more happy in the community before they buy a premium ship they know what they're getting. They'd be so much more willing to spend on a ship if they know what they're getting and they know they're gonna like it. I think this is great, great change and a great thing to do moving forward. Oh, a smoke even? Let's go. That's our chug moo, all right. So, smoked up. Uh, do we pop our radar now? Probably not, right? We want to see what's here first. Genan, yeah, we got a lot of tier 10s also in this game. I hope I'm not overhyping this, but I'm just, I just love it when we see such player-friendly decisions, right? Wargaming can do it. They're capable of doing it, man. So I, I gotta praise it when it comes out, you know, just, just to really, really reinforce that this is, this is what I want. This is what I want to see. Oh, Jaeger in secondary range. <laughs> All right. 
Unfortunately, guys, it is a nine kilometer hydro. So radar, not hydro. Imagine a nine kilometer hydro. Nine kilometer radar. So I'm actually not going to get much more on him here. But the secondaries. I'll try another shot. Oh, we're broadside to the Laria. Whoops. Well, we might die. This video is not about me playing particularly well or seeing how the ship goes. It's really about you knowing that there's a free rental available, which I think is really, really cool. Yeah, Laria sap. That's going to be bad for us. Angle to it, but just kidding. It's overmatch sap. But that's okay. No secondary hits. Oh, that's so disappointing. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go to the AP here. Yeah, we're going to go to the AP here. For Zhao, potentially. Oh, the Alvaro's here as well. We didn't lose too much HP. I actually expected us to lose quite a bit more than that. Improved pen angles. We still get them on these AP shells, so still very much worth using. And actually, these, this island here is pretty decent for us. Oh, there's Jaeger. Oh, we have a Hildebrand. That's why. Like, how is he spotted? Poor guy. I'll take a blind for him. I should get in an angle to use all of my guns, by the way. DPM-wise, we would love to see that. Actually, Iparanga probably means we should go the AP. We're probably going to shatter a lot on him. Odin as well. But yeah, let me let me know what you think. Let Wargaming know what you think. Uh, tell them this is a good idea. You know, really reinforce that for them because they might do it more. They might expand it. They might make it more flexible. It's always... I mean, it's a lot of money for premium ships in this game, right? Like, it's not cheap. It's the price of full game experiences sometimes more it's it's to be able to try it first i think they'll have a lot more happy customers maybe more purchases i don't know if there would be more but maybe there might be more people interested in buying ships if they let let me know let me let wargaming know maybe if wargaming sees that in the comments here sees that on wherever they get their feedback We'll see it more. I, wa I want to see it more, personally. Yeah, our dispersion's not great. Uh, secondaries, maybe not the way. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, we're losing... Actually, no, we're, we're okay for now. We just got to help on the DDs wherever we can. Laria's a little bit slow. I'm going to... Hydro, actually, just to make sure we're not getting yellowed or something like that. I don't think we are. I want to save the radars, is the idea here. No heal, of course, makes things a little bit awkward at times. Tier 8 cruiser, it'd be nice to have a heal. Any any fires? Any fires? We should have fires, right? 17% fire chance, even. I guess it's tier 10. They have that reduction. Yeah. Still, though. Be nice. Wouldn't mind. No? All right. Well, maybe don't get the ship. <laughs> or try it yourself. You don't have to trust the YouTube guy. There we go. Wow, no fire. No fire. It's bad, apparently. Ooh, Jinan pushed up. Wait, do I get greedy? This might be a greed play, but it could be funny also. And we can still shoot Laria. Wait, what's our range? 15-8. It's not bad. For tier 8, that's not too bad. Hey, a fire. We've done it. All right. 9 kilometer radar here. Let's be careful to not over push because we could very easily just die to Laria. Zhao got the Iparanga. All right. Okay. Hello, Mr. Jinan. Oh, there's Jaeger. Oh, yeah. Secondaries. Get him. <laughs> How dumb is that? <laughs> Do 
Double fire. Okay, there's where the fires are. We found them. Yeah, go broadside like that, please. No, we didn't get it. Surely. Yeah, there's one. Alright, front guns only, I guess. Bounced? Damn, that's too bad. So here's the thing, right? Jinan has some pretty scary torps. <laughs> oh, do I not have the pen? That's too bad. So we gotta be a little bit careful, but look at our utility here, helping the team. I should probably go dark, it's a Zao. Wait, did we just miss? Yeah, okay, definitely go uh, main guns accuracy, guys. Definitely, definitely go main guns accuracy on this thing. Do not go secondary. <laughs> I guess I don't have the pen. Too bad. Oh well. Yep, I was expected. I, I expected that sooner, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Problem solved, sir. Okay, we're pretty low. We're pretty low, but you know, we've done a decent job of scouting with the radar. We got the Jaeger killed. We kind of got Jinan killed. He wasn't able to turn away, I'm sure, like he wanted to. And we lived. We're alive. You know, it's an AR buff. Look at that, eight second reload. Wichita, there we go. Uh, I should be careful to not get spotted here, though. That would be quite bad. We got eight secondary hits though. That's value. That is value right there. <laughs> Maybe. We'll wait for these guys to push in. It is scary playing a tier 8 cruiser into tier 10s, for sure. Kind of got to camp the islands a little bit. Fortunate they don't have a Hildebrand. There's Zhao. We do have the... Uh, I don't think my guns turn in time, and I'd rather be ready for whatever's over here. Fortunately, we have the south under control. I think. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Alvaro gets spotted soon. Odin, Laria. We, there's some damage to get. There's some damage to get yet. There we go, Odin. Now that I've complained about the fire chance, watch us just burn down these guys now. That's usually how it works. You don't get it early, but then the game just gives you a bunch of pity fires. Yep, there's one. <laughs> Poor Odin. No, not two, but still, one is good enough. Actually, he damage controlled, so if if we see him again. Smoke there, all right. It's going away from us, though. And no shots, okay. That's okay. Zhao is kind of leaving a bit, so... Oh wait, Lari is pushing. I did not expect Lari to push. Not at all. Yo, Shikashima from downtown. All right. We got ourselves a team here. Now I can play more aggressive. Try and go say hi to the Alvaro. Had a good team in this one, man. You don't always see that. But man, having a rental. Let's talk about that some more, because I'm I'm just so happy. Wargaming's done it. Having a rental, man, that's so cool. It's so cool. If they could expand it so that it's available for... Maybe they don't have to go any premium ship, but a lot of premium ships. That would be cool. Resource-based ships, you know, maybe you spend some resources. Like, what if you could spend... What if you could spend 50,000 coal to get a rental coal ship, and then that coal, if you like it, gives you a reduced cost to buy the ship afterwards, right? Like, what about that? You know, invest... It, I don't know. 
Maybe investing resources is the wrong way of putting it, but you know, you know, like there's some cool ways they could do it. So you're still spending resources, you're playing the game, but you get the option to try before you buy the ship, right? You don't go to a, well, I guess you can go to a car dealer and just buy a, buy a car before buying it, but you probably want to try it out before you buy it, right? I understand not everything works like that. I'm cherry picking an example, <laughs> but still, but still, I should be on the AP here, given how broadside he is. Hey, the fire, let's go. So close to secondary range. Didn't get there, didn't get there. All right. 67k, not amazing. But hey, Wichita, it's it's a better concealed Baltimore. And that's cool. It also has secondaries that you should not spec into. <laughs> do, not, uh, do not run this build. But you can try it until, what, October 24th? 27th? I forget. We'll have to... Uh, Actually, let me check right now. I have it pulled up on a web page. October 23rd. Okay, I was wrong. October 23rd, you have to participate in this offer. Yeah, really, really cool. Good player-focused decision. They can do it. They can do it. It does feel like we flip-flop back and forth, right? Where there's some pretty anti-player offerings in this game and how things go, but then we flip it over into... It's very good for players. This is a very good player-focused decision to allow us to uh, take out rentals before you even buy the ship. You don't even have to spend money. You don't even need a premium account. You can literally just participate. Actually, do you need a certain account level? I don't think so. Reading through this? I don't think so. Th that might be something. Where you, where you have to have a tier 8. That might be something I would add personally. Maybe we don't want people just renting a tier 10. You know? Although Wargaming has been giving away tier 10. So maybe. Maybe that's coming. But that would be my take. Have it a little more freely available to those who have at least that tier on their account. Chungmu, we have a radar for you. And it lasts quite a while. A little bit longer duration even though the absolute uh, range is worse. Oh yeah, get him secondaries, go. Boom, got his engine. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, got his engine again, look at that. Secondaries, took it out the first time. <laughs> That's so stupid. Can I get over that? I can, but I missed. Too bad. Oh well. 69,000 damage. Very nice. I can't shoot anymore. You got it, guys. You got it. That's a good amount to end on. And we win the game. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's a nice way to end the week, I gotta say. Friday video. Happy with Wargaming. Happy with Wargaming's decisions. You love to see it, man. This is the video I want to I, I prefer these kind of videos, man. I don't want to be mad at the game and mad at wargaming. I don't want to do that, man. I, I much prefer this kind of thing where I can praise what they're doing and wholly recommend you interact with the events they're running. That's what I like to do, man. That's what I like. So this is really good. This is really, really good. I'm so happy about this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, Wargaming does watch some of these videos, so they might check the comments, and uh, you'll have your feedback taken into account. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.